One of the other tasks that I have to do is to gasket match the intake manifold. So that it fits the 2.8 heads. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of meat on the 2.7 intake manifold, especially on the sides. So what I'm going to work on doing is just uh, angling those out so that they they make uh, proper contact with the head and also so that the transition between the head uh, and the intake manifold is as smooth as possible and it should also aid in fuel air mixture when it's entering the valve area So I just completed the first one and here you can see the difference between the two. So you can see that the profile of this runner is very smooth as opposed to this one over here which if it had to transition would be very abrupt. So this should allow for gases to move through much more smoother so there should be a better response with the way the motor performs. So two out of the six have been, so to say, completed. You can see there's a nice transition on them as opposed to the others. Um, you can just see the size difference between the 2.8 heads and the 2.7 heads intake ports by the, the way that the gaskets match up to this intake. So after everything is said and done, they should look all of them should look like this and then I'll just give the mating surfaces a light skim 
so that they are true and there's no issues with warpage or any uh, marks on them. Because I've just gotten my spec sheet so that I know more or less what the tolerance should be and what it is at the moment. So I'm just going to use this to record all my um, my values that I've found for each piston ring and then we'll go ahead and grind them down if they're too big and then we'll reinstall and double check it. <laughs> 